Great new action then, a 7-0 win to finish off our pre-season campaign. I guess all eyes are on next Saturday now. Yeah, all eyes have been on next Saturday since we came back on the 1st of July. Obviously, many thanks to Fergie and Bellington to come up tonight because it was late notice and the only team who didn't have a game this weekend and we needed a game, so obviously much appreciated them to come up. And I think it's exactly exactly what I won out tonight. It went, it went to script. First things first, we've got no injuries, so that's that's obviously the main thing in pre-season. And then we've got to look at some of the lads, we've got to look at some of the lads that are coming in. And we've got minutes into legs of lads that I've missed last week, so it was perfect. And I thought some of the play tonight was beautiful. We've, we've worked on stuff and, and that's what we want to see in games like this. A couple of times, obviously, Louser, that's why he's here for, but two great saves. But everything was great, spot on tonight. Um, give us a little bit of an injury update, because I think last week was probably, there was a longer list of injuries and people missing and unavailable. Yeah. Obviously AJ's news has sort of come out that he won't be available for the start of the season, but is there anybody else who might be missing next Saturday? Oh, there'll be a few. I mean, pre-season's always a funny one, isn't it? We've we've got quite a big squad on paper, but you wouldn't think it if teams were looking at us thinking, geez, you got two subs off of the full of the season. But I think it's done us no harm in that sense. You want to get through the games with no injuries and pre-season when you get hamstring injuries and calves, that's when you're thinking, oh no, but we have got an injury list to some freak injuries for like AJ's is free, Carl Morris he's out, he's got a freak injury. Josh King's a hamstring but he struck a ball and his hamstring's gone. Bailey got a kick, Ben Sear got a kick. So it's it's injuries like that. I mean hopefully the week's not months. I think most of the weeks. Obviously AJ unfortunately is long term. It's good to see Sam back on the grass tonight jogging, but he'll be along he'll be obviously next year. So we have got quite an extensive extensive injury list, but We'll have players come back. We've always had two or three missing for whole days, but for me, that's, I mean, I'm, I was away last week, but it's part and parcel of pre season, you know, get them out of the way now. Um, people miss different weeks, so we, we, should have, we should have hopefully touched with a full bench for warming in next week. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you an obvious question, so I'm pretty sure I know the answer already. You'll be optimistic heading towards Warrington, which is a tough opening day, but one more path are more than capable of getting a result from. Yeah, definitely. Warrington's, a, I think I've said it before, the, uh, the hardcore team in this league. They've been here for many years, and, and look, they got to the playoff final last year. <laughs> it's, it's a hard game. I mean, if you had a top three games you didn't want to go to, Warrington away would probably be in it. But look, we've got a hard hard start of the season, but for me, you, you see where you're at straight away from that. We're not gonna We're not going to be able to say, oh, we've, we've played mid-table teams from last season, we've we've got teams, we've got Warrington, hard team under no apprehension about them, we've got Matlock, we've got South Shields, we've got guys, the Liver's Edge, so, so if we get at the end of September, that's, I think we'll have a fair share to see where we're going to be, because them teams are going to be in the round it again, there's no there's no questions about that, guys, you got relegated, but we've strengthened up, we've got some good players in, Liver's Edge lost a few, but we've got a few, it's going to be a tough league, every year gets tougher, the, the pool of players is but more people drop down into the leagues, like South Shields has just gone and signed a player that played 77 games in the last two years in a League Two team. So, look, that's why we're here for it. It's competitive and it'll be great.